Okay, our topic today is all about linear equations in two variables. Objective to illustrate linear equations in two variables. Before that, let's have a recall to evaluate the value of unknown equations or variable in the given equations. Number one, given y is equal to 3x plus 4, find the value of y when x is equal to 1. Solution, y is equal to 3x plus 4 is x is equal to 1. Just substitute the value of x doon sa given equation. So, 3 times 1 plus 4. So, 3 times 1, the answer is 3. Add natin yung 4. So, y is equal to 7. And y is equal to 3x plus 4 is an example of linear equations. Meron tayong dalawang variable, y, x, and the exponent of y and x is 1. So, that's why it's linear lang. Pag sinabi natin linear, the graph is line. Solve for y in y is equal to 5x minus 2 when x is equal to 4. Substitute daw natin yung value ng x which is 4. So, meron tayong 5 times 4 minus 2. And 20, kasi 5 times 4, 20. Minus 2, the answer is 18. So, ang y natin ay 18 kung ang x ay 4. Solve for y and y is equal to 3x plus 2 when x is equal to negative 5. Our x here is negative 5. So, substitute natin yung value ng x sa given equation. So, magiging 3 times of negative 5 plus 2. So, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15 plus 2. The answer is negative 13. So, ang y natin ay negative 13 kapag ang x ay negative 5. Okay, let us proceed on a standard form of a linear equations in two variables. Ano ba talaga ibig sabihin ng linear equations? Pag sinabi natin linear equations, we have a given equations of a line. Ako ibig sabihin, ang graph ng equations na yun, line, na nasa two variables. Ito yung x and y. Malalaman natin yung properties ng linear equation. Okay. A linear equation in two variables is an equation which can be written in the form of ax plus by is equal to c. Where a, b, and c are real numbers but, take note, a and b not both equal to zero. So, ibig sabihin daw, hindi pwede maging zero si a and b kasi makancel yung isa sa kanila doon. Kasi nga, pag zero ang a and b, mumultiply mo sa zero ang x is equal to zero. Big sabihin ba niyan, yung C pwede maging 0? Yes, kasi ang C dyan, constant. And 0 is a real number then. When an equation is linear in two variables, notice that. Ito yung medyo ito yung tatlong properties ng linear equations. Number 1, the exponent of x and y is 1. Exponent daw ng x and y is 1. Number 2, X and Y is not multiplied together. So, hindi sila magkatabi. Magkahiwalay. Like a given AX plus BY is equal to C. Separated yung X and Y natin with operations of plus or minus. Pwedeng minus. Next, you do not see X or Y in denominator or as an exponent. Ito, kapag na-violate niya itong three rules na to, it means of that the equation is not a linear. Okay, let us try to de determine whether the equation is linear equations in two variables or not. Then, explain natin. Number one, y is equal to 5x times 2x is a plus 7. y is equal to 5x times 2x plus 7. Linear or not? The answer is not. Bakit? Because 5x multiplied to 2x. Pag minultiply natin yan, magiging 10x squared. Tapos, exponent na x natin magiging 2. So, hindi na siya linear. Number 2. 1 half x plus 3y is equal to 6. The answer is yes. Kasi yung 1 half na yan is the numerical coefficient of x. Hindi naman naging denominator yung x dyan. So, linear siya. But, we can have a simplest form of this given linear equations. Kung ayaw mo nang may 1 half as a numerical coefficient. Ang gagawin natin, 
we just multiply all terms by 2 to cancel the denominator. Since ang denominator natin dito ay 2, multiply natin lahat ng terms by 2. Ayan. 2 times 1 half x plus 2 times 3y equals 2 times 6. So the answer is x plus 6y is equal to 12. Tanda na, parehas silang linear. Number 3. 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. Not. Because it has one variable only. Ibig sabihin, linear equations in one variable lang yan. Not two variables. Number 4. 8x plus 2xy equals 11. Not then. Because x and y multiply together. Number 5. 4x minus 7y plus 10 is equal to 0. Yes, it's linear. Pwede mo i-transpose lang yung 10 sa kabila to say that you have ax plus by is equal to c. Linear pa din yan. And number 6, 3 over x minus y equals 3. Not because x is the denominator of fractions 3 over x. Na-violate niya yung pangatlo. And number 7, y squared plus 4x is equal to 5. Not because y has exponent of 2. Dapat 1 lang. Okay. Proceed naman tayo on how to write the following linear equations in standard form. Yung ax plus by is equal to c. Dapat sa left side ng equal sign, nandun dun yung ax and by. Or yung may variable na x and y. Sa right side ng equal sign, yung constant. Yung number lang. Sa example, y is equal to 3x plus 4. We need to write in equations ax plus py is equal to c. So, transpose that yung 3x to the left. Once we transpose, change sign. Since positive yung 3x, magiging negative. So, we have negative 3x plus y is equal to 4. Our a here is negative 3. Our b is 1. And our c is 4. Yung a is a numerical coefficient of ax. Yung b, numerical coefficient ng by. Dito, ang, one, ang B natin ay 1 kasi wala tayong nakikita ang number na katabi ni Y. Means, may 1 dyan sa tabi niya. But A is negative. We can change all signs to make it positive. Pero tama rin naman yung first given natin. Kung ayaw mo lang na may makita kang negative sa first term, pwede mo din palitan yan para mas magandang tignan lang. So, change all signs daw natin. So, magiging... 3x minus y is equal to negative 4. So, ang a natin magbabago din. So, a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 4. Number 2. 2y is equal to 8 minus 11x. Anong ililipat natin? Yes, the negative 11x. Mismo yung negative 11x. So, transpose negative 11x to the left. So, magbabago ng sign. Meron tayong 11x plus 2y is equal to 8. So, a is equal to 11, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 8. Next, 3x is equal to 1 plus 7y. Anong ililipat natin? Yes, the 7y. So, mangyayari, we have transpose 7y to the left. We have 3x minus 7y is equal to 1. Our a is 3. What is our b? Yes, negative 7. Kasama mismo yung sign. Kasi yung negative dyan is the 7. c is equal to 1. Plus, x is equal to negative 2y. Yes, linear pa din yan. Kasi ang c natin dito ay 0. So we need to transpose negative 2y to the left. So, magiging x plus 2y is equal to 0. So, our a is 1, our b is 2, and our c is 0. Thank you!